foreign affairs between the United States and our allies and the countries around the world that are not our allies is one of the most important functions of our government. And in the House of Representatives, the people who have served and presently serve and will serve as chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee are not only some of the most influential, but some of the most respected members of the House of Representatives. In honoring Ambassador Dermer last year, we then focused on honorees for this year. And we concluded that there were three people to be honored this year, and uh, the first of which is, has joined us here today. Uh, Ileana Ross Layton. Rep Re Republican of Florida, is Chairman Emeritus of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. I first met Chairman Ross Layton through a dear departed friend, Ben Gilman, who was chair of the House Foreign Relations Committee. And when he retired, he said to me one day, I would like to take you with me to meet Ileana Ross Layton because she will be the most outstanding chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And indeed, she has served in that capacity. Today, she serves as chair of the House Subcommittee on the Middle East and North Africa. She will, by her own choice and act, be retiring from Congress at the end of this term. We had a choice about today's session. Hold it today or hold it in January. For various reasons, we decided to proceed today. And one of those reasons is so that we could honor Ileana Ross Layton while still a member of Congress and present to her the 2018 American uh, Zionist Movement Distinguished Leadership Award. Please welcome Ileana Ross Layton. Is this good? Is that in there? That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yo, yo, yo. Richard, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad you didn't wait till January. I don't know where I'm going to be in January. They tell me the microphone is not as loud as we would like it, so we'll ask you to I speak into I will be loud. It. I will be loud. Thank you so much. Richard and I indeed go uh, way back. We won't tell uh, the secrets about us. And I'm so happy that in the crowd here waiting to speak to you is uh, my comrade in, uh, in arms, my uh, co-chair of the Middle East and North Africa Subcommittee, Congressman Ted Deutsch of South Florida. Ted will be the chairman of the committee starting in January. And also Joe Wilson, uh, where is Joe of South Carolina? Joe Wilson. Uh, Joe, what is the subcommittee on which you will be a ranking member? So you've got him right here, guys. Thank you. That tells you about the mojo of the uh, American Zionist movement. But thank you so much. I'm honored to receive this award, especially when I hear about the past uh, recipients. But it's been one of the greatest joys of my congressional career to have been advocating for a strong U.S.-Israel partnership, a relationship that I'm proud to have played a very small part in, uh, in strengthening over the years. And I've done that with Ted right at my side. In these last weeks alone, I'm looking forward to the passage of our United States-Israel Security Assistance Authorization Act. A certain senator from this side here, Ron Paul, has been holding it up. But I think that, uh, I think that the, the will of the people is going to rise up, and we're going to finally uh, pass this bill. And this bill authorizes security assistance for Israel at levels no less than $3.3 billion per year uh, of the Memorandum of Understanding, and it also finds 
other areas in which the U.S. can help make Israel stronger and more secure. Tammy, will that do the job for you? Tammy says yes. So all of you know, I'm preaching to the choir, so to speak. Uh, a strong Israel means a strong United States. A strong United States means a strong Israel. It's a symbiotic relationship. We all benefit, all of us benefit from the strongest possible U.S. partnership with the Jewish state, Americans and Israelis alike. And that is why I have spent my entire congressional career working across the aisle with like-minded colleagues who are looking to do what is best for America regardless of party. And I'm so proud that Ted has been with me every step of the way, and I hope that we have been a model for what Congress should be doing, looking out for America, looking out for our allies, and that has no party label. And I've been so disappointed with the decline in bipartisanship in recent years. Uh, we're going to have uh, a level of partisanship, because you can't take politics out of politics. We're divided into two parties, so that's not going to go away. But some partisanship on both sides is, it, is what helps to uh, ensure that we generally stay somewhere in the middle. Uh, but there's too much bluster. There's too much, uh, uh, what can we say? I, I've got a couple of words in Spanish I could say, but there's too much, too much bluster from both sides. Sometimes people need to realize that we need to put the people above politics. And you have always had that high, taken that high road. Issues like moving our embassy to Jerusalem, check. Holding UN agencies accountable for their bias against Israel, check. Combating the anti-Semitic BDS movement, all of those are issues on which we can agree as Americans. Uh, they're important to defend Israel's right to exist. And defending Israel and her right to exist, and that's so such a low bar, Reckon her right to exist, we got to do better than that. But it's so important, and it goes beyond bipartisanship. Israel should be a nonpartisan issue all the time. And as we look on how we can unite, which is something that Ted and I have been working on for many a year, it helps to find areas that we can agree on. Something simple, we start to build trust from there. We have too many mutual interests. We have so many. We can build on that. And there's much, uh, too much trying about what we can do to separate us. What kind of a leader is Nancy Pelosi? Do you think she's too this? What kind of a leader is Donald Trump? Do you think he's too much that? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not get bogged down on that. Our two nations don't just share the same interests. Israel and the United States, it's such a strong partnership. Let's keep our eye on the prize, and we share the same principles. We share the same values. We hold freedom to be sacred. We hold democracy to be sacred. The respect for human rights, the rule of law, these are fundamental ideals that make both of our nations great. So we need to focus on what we can agree on. <laughs> There's a lot we can disagree on, but let's focus on the positive. Let's move forward together. Let's get the ball rolling, and this is where all of you come in. The people and the groups that make up the American Zionist movement, you have been the leading voices for this, for going above all of the noise, bringing us together. We need to rebuild this environment where bipartisan cooperation is welcomed, not viewed with skepticism. And, and as we look forward, I'm confident that we are going to get back there and that we're going to have that broad bipartisan support again that we need for Israel. Support for Israel is the right thing to do. And really, in a time of hyper-partisanship and mistrust, even within the parties themselves, because you know we don't agree even within our own family, one of the very few things that we can agree on is support for Israel. So really, support for Israel is like a therapy session for Congress. You, build, you bring us together. You're like the Dr. Phil of Congress. So uh, I, I like that. Um, we need to keep building on that bipartisan support. Uh, we need to make sure that Israel has everything it needs to support herself. And uh, the threats that Israel faces, they're not going away. It, they're getting worse. 
And those threaten our own national security, and that's the message that we want to bring home. And if we can keep focused on that, the shared ideals, the shared values, the mutual interests, the mutual threats, then I don't believe that there will be any cause for concern over the long-term impact of our U.S.-Israel relationship. Thank you. Muchas gracias por este tremendo honor. Muy agradecida. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. I'm taking my. I'm taking that with me. You're not. Exit stage left. Thank you. Before. before